Hello everyone, my name is Emma McDougall and today I'm going to be talking to you about my work on LERC2 RAB signaling in human-induced pluripotent stem cell models of the Parkinson's disease brain. Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disorder. It's characterized by a loss of dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra pars compacta region of the midbrain. Additional hallmarks of the disease include the presence of Lewy bodies and increased neuroinflammation, marked by an elevation in activated microglia. Only approximately 10% of Parkinson's disease is familial or inherited, and the other 90% arises sporadically. But by studying the genes implicated in familial Parkinson's disease, we can better understand the mechanisms behind both familial and sporadic cases. One such gene is that encoding leucine-rich repeat kinase 2, or LERC2, which is a large dual-function GTPase and serine threonine kinase. There are multiple different autosomal dominant Parkinson's disease pathogenic mutations found in LERC2, and the majority of these mutations cluster within the ROC core GTPase and the kinase domains of the protein. The most common of these mutations is the G2019S mutation in the kinase domain, and all of these mutations have been shown to increase kinase activity in vivo. The exact function of LERC2 is still unknown. It's been implicated in multiple different cellular processes, including vesicular trafficking, autophagy, and lysosomal function. Additionally, there is mounting evidence that LERC2 may play a role in immune function. Notably, it's highly expressed in immune cells. If you look at RNA sequencing data from the human brain, LERC2 is most highly expressed in microglia, which are the resident immune cells found in the brain. Recently, RAB proteins have been identified as the first bona fide substrates of LERC2 kinase. RAB proteins act as master regulators of cellular trafficking, and thus LERC2 may be able to mediate its proposed cellular functions through phosphorylation of RABs. LERC2 phosphorylation of RABs on a conserved residue in the SWITCH2 domain alters the way in which they interact with their downstream effector proteins, thus altering RAB membrane insertion, cellular localization, and activity. The objective of my project is to understand the role of LERC2 RAB signaling in Parkinson's disease pathogenesis in the human brain using induced pluripotent stem cell, or iPSC, models. iPSCs are produced by reprogramming cells derived from healthy donors or patients to produce pluripotent cells that can be differentiated into different cell types in 2D or in 3D to produce organoids. For the study of LERC2 and RABs, I'm interested in 2D differentiation into microglia and 3D differentiation into midbrain organoids, which by the virtue of how we produce them do not contain microglia. And so an aim of my project is to introduce microglia into these organoids via co-culture, as microglia are the resident immune cells of the brain and have high expression of LERC2. The first step I took was to set up my iPSC lines. We already had a patient-derived line with the LERC2 G2019S mutation, and using CRISPR editing, we produced an isogenic control with correction of the G2019S mutation in the patient background. We used the digital droplet PCR assay to select the cells that had been CRISPR edited, and then Sanger sequencing to confirm the correction. This isogenic line will now be subjected to quality control measures before use in any experiments. While making the isogenic line, I also started to produce iPSC-derived microglia, or IMGs, from the G2019S patient line using a protocol published by McQuaid and colleagues. Uh, it's a two-step process, and the first step is to produce hematopoietic precursor cells, or HPCs, which I did, and confirmed by the detection of CD43, an HPC marker, by flow cytometry. Once the HPCs are produced, the second step is to differentiate them into microglia. Here I confirmed the identity of the microglia by the absence of CD34, an additional HPC marker, and the presence of CD11B, a microglial marker. Approximately 85% of my cells were CD11B positive, indicating a pretty pure population of iPSC-derived microglia. Further characterization of these cells by qPCR and immunofluorescent staining is underway, and once that is complete and the isogenic line is complete, I will produce microglia from both the G2019S and the isogenic line in parallel. Finally, we aim to incorporate the induced microglia that we make into midbrain organoids to produce a robust 3D model for study of LERC2 and RABs in Parkinson's disease. Preliminary co-culture experiments have been promising. Here I'm showing whole mount stainings of midbrain organoids with EBO1, which is a microglial marker, shown in green. And you can see in the rightmost image that we were able to incorporate microglia into the organoids but there is still lots of further work and optimization to be done here. To conclude, I've been working to establish a robust iPSC-derived system for the study of LERC2 RAP signaling in Parkinson's disease, either 2D microglial cultures or 3D organoid microglial co-cultures, 
and then to use that system to determine the role of LERC2 RAB signaling in Parkinson's disease pathogenesis, hopefully leading to a better understanding of what causes Parkinson's disease and how we can treat it. Finally, I'd just like to thank everyone in my lab, especially Ted, Marie-France, and Eric. Thank you very much.